All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFit Live program, and another chance to set ourselves up nice and strong for this week as we all get settled in. Again, welcome. Go ahead and share this with your friends. This is a great time to go ahead and look at our accountability, accountability partners and share this BFit Live program, this BFit Live workout with our friends. I have you up on my screen right here. So if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer anything that you have coming my way. All right, Carla, I see you from Phoenix. Welcome to our BFit Live program. I hope you are joining us. I hope you're working out with us today. All right, let me know. If there are any movements that are fun for you or that are challenging for you, or if you have any questions on tips or techniques. But first and foremost, hello and welcome to our BFIT Live program. As always, this is our exchange BFIT Live program to help spark that active lifestyle that we uh, might be searching for to help us get us through our week, to start us off nice and strong, and to just really live that BFIT active lifestyle team. All right. Um, so, once again, uh, today's timing for today, we're going to run through four different movements, all right? We're working on four foundational movements for today's workout, all right? Some nice, strong foundational strength training movements, some resistance training movements for today. Our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, and four rounds with one minute rest in between each round, all right? Once again, the timing is 40 of work, 20 of rest, four movements, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round, giving us that 60 seconds of rest to kind of uh, reset ourselves to get ready for that next round. All right. Four rounds in total, which will bring us at just under 20 minute workout. So just under a 20 minute workout to really build on some strength. And we are able to scale up and scale down a lot of these movements. So if you have any dumbbells, Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. If you have kettlebells, if you have anything with the handle, anything that you are using around uh, your workout space to kind of scale up any movements that you may be doing already, go ahead and grab that as well. Resistance bands work out very nicely for our first movement, okay? Um, again, so we have some lower body movements, we have some upper body movements, and then we have some core movements to finish this off. I will demo each movement before we get started. Then we will jump into some dynamic stretching just to get our bodies prepared and ready to work. And then we will head into our workout. Sound good, team? All right. Once again, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. And I have my screen up so I'll be able to uh, kind of uh, navigate any uh, thing that you may throw my way. <laughs> All right, team. Well, let me start off with the four movements for today. That way we know exactly what we're going to do. That way we know uh, whether. Um, we need any resistance that you uh, might need to have. So movement number one, team. All right. <clears throat> we have squat pulses, but not just a squat pulse. We are looking at a full squat with a pulse at the bottom, and then we are going to drive right back up through our heels. So setting ourselves up into our squat position, as always, your feet want to be shoulder width apart or maybe just outside of that shoulder width apart. Okay. Set yourselves up and... <clears throat> I like to say with your squat, okay, go down to your comfort level here, okay, no matter where that may fall, okay, uh, just go ahead and push back and down into that comfort level of that depth of squat that we can achieve for today. All right, so we have one squat, we are going to pulse up, which just means just means we're going to rise up about three to four inches, set right back down into our low squat, and then drive right back up into standing position, okay, keeping our chest up, keeping our head in that neutral position, which means we're gonna be gazing somewhat to the front of the room here, okay? Pushing those hips back, I mean heels back, pushing those hips back, and those knees are gonna track over the front of our toes, okay? So when we go down into that squat, think about pushing those hips back and down, and your knees are gonna track right over those toes. That's how far back we wanna push those hips back, okay? All right, nice, big, uh, low squat here, pulse up for one, right back down, and then right back up. That's going to be one rep, all right? We have 40 seconds of work to execute that first movement, okay? The first movement is gonna be a squat with a pulse and then driving right back up. All right, movement number two, we are down on deck here, we have a T push-up. okay? So we are gonna go into our high plank position. High plank position, 
our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders, all right? Our feet are about shoulder width apart. A little note here, the wider your foot basement is, the wider your foot placement is, the more stability you're going to have when you go up into <clears throat> that high plank position, right? Hands underneath our shoulders. We're going to drop down into our push-up, right? Nice, strong push-up from here, extend up. Left hand or right hand comes up right at center of body line, all right? Our gaze is going to follow our fingertips from here. We reset back into that high plank position, come down, push up, and then opposite hand trails up to the ceiling here with your gaze following your fingertips once again. If we need to regress this, we're gonna drop to our knees right here, down into our push up. From here, go into your high plank and then go into <clears throat> your twist, all right? Go into that rotation, all right? If we need to scale back, let's go leading with our chest into that push up and then look up at the ceiling with that rotation. All right, that's gonna be our T push-up. That's gonna be movement number two. <clears throat> All right, movement number three here, we have a reverse lunge. <clears throat> now, exercise one and exercise three. If we wanna scale up, grab those dumbbells, this would be a perfect time to do that. Um, reverse lunges for number three. So find that front of your workout space here. <clears throat> Mine will be somewhat right here. We're gonna go ahead and extend that rear leg, that right leg or left leg back into that reverse lunge position. Drop that rear leg down, that 90 degree bend on that front leg is gonna be where you're striving for, for <clears throat> that placement, all right? We're down to that reverse lunge, drive right back up and then alternate left leg and right leg. Take your time with these. If you wanna raise the tempo, nice quick reverse lunges, we can do that with body weight. If you wanna scale up <clears throat> and you have dumbbells, Go ahead and front rack them. You're gonna keep them at that front rack position. They can be here. And then we go back into our reverse lunge, okay? We will probably scale up, maybe third and fourth round. <clears throat> that sounds a bit comfortable. The first two, I'm looking for speed. I'm looking for tempo. I'm looking for nice, quick movements with our reverse lunges, okay? <clears throat> All right, Sandra from Kansas, welcome in. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a great workout and join me today. And movement number four to round us out is going to be five mountain climbers and five <clears throat> core twists. All right. So we are in that high plank, one high plank position once again for those five mountain climbers. And then we were going to quickly turn over for five core twists. Okay. So high plank position, once again, stacking those hands underneath our shoulders. <clears throat> five mountain climbers out of those five. You're gonna quickly rotate over and we have five core twists. Then we go back into five mountain climbers and then a nice quick transition to a five core twist. All right, team, <clears throat> that is gonna be a nice quick high intensity transition for movement number four. <clears throat> Sound good, sound good, sound great? I know it does. <laughs> Chris from Germany, shout out Chris from Germany. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Not sure what time it is over there, but if it's evening, let's get this workout in. <laughs> um, okay, so dynamic stretches to start us off, all right? We wanna make sure that our body is nice and warm before we jump into this workout. So let's get going, let's get going team, all right? <clears throat> dynamic quad stretch is gonna start us off for movement dynamic stretch number one. All right, we're gonna take that right leg. We are going to extend it back. We're gonna push those hips forward. That left arm goes and extends all the way up and overhead. Good, you feel that stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, alternate left arm and right arm, left leg and right leg. Good, we'll do each of these movements for about 20 to 30 seconds. Good, really just getting some blood flow into our body, really just moving around here with a purpose. Focus on our breathing. Really think about those muscle groups that we're about to target for each movement, right? Hand goes up a little higher for these last two. Pushing those hips forward. Last one here. Good job. All right, shake that one out. We have lateral lunges here, all right? We're gonna work on the inner part of our thighs and our quads as we shift over from the left and to the right, all right? Our toes are gonna be fixed in a forward position. 
All right, pushing those hips back. Once again, that chest is up nice and proud. I wanna be able to see your face from here. Good, good. Nothing too aggressive here, but you can feel that stretch in your inner thigh. Feel some blood flow pushing out through our quads. A little ankle mobility here as well. Last three, two, one, good. All right, reverse lunges with the reach. So the purpose with this one is we're gonna warm up our lower body and do that same exact movement with that reverse lunge that we would in movement number three for our workout. Now we're gonna add in a reach that's going to engage our lats, all right? Giving our lats a nice big stretch here. So top of your workout space here, you're gonna send that right leg back, whichever that lead leg is, that's the direction you want to reach to. Nice, strong reach. Feel that stretch all the way down your lats. With that reach, come back to starting and standing position. Left leg now, reaching over, pausing for one or two seconds at that bottom movement. With that reach, good. Sit back in that reverse lunge to our comfort level here once again. Good, find that balance. Last two, last one here. Stand up, over with that reach on that lead leg. Good, dial in that stretch. Good job, all right team. Let's go into some YTWs here. We have push-ups, upper body uh, movements that we're gonna go through for today. So let's start with that upper body warm up here to round us out, all right? Nice, strong stance here. Think about our foot placement. Soft bend at those knees. Our center is gonna be our hands together. From here, we're gonna extend up into a big Y. Good, thumbs facing the back of the room here, feeling that squeeze in our shoulder blades. Once again, with that T. Good, find that breath again. Big W, feel that in the back of your shoulders. Good, feel that one out. Big Y here. Reset with your feet. Good, pausing at the top. Big T, thumbs facing the back of the room. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together into that big W. Good. Last one here. Big Y, deep breath in, deep breath out. Big T, deep breath in, deep breath out. Last one here, big W. All right, team. Good work, good work. We are just getting started. So grab that towel, grab that water. I'm going to grab my timer so we can get set in and prepare to work. All right, team, while we get settled in, think about that hydration, all right? Think about what we need to do to stay hydrated throughout today's workout. All right, team, here we go. Let's go ahead and set this timer here. Let's see. All right, all right team. Just as a reminder, movement number one is gonna be a squat with a pulse at the bottom, driving right back up. Movement number two is a T push-up, so a push-up with a rotation. Movement number three is that reverse lunge, okay? And then movement number four is gonna be those mountain climbers with the core twists. All right team, let's start off here in 10 seconds, all right? From here on out, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Squat with a pulse. I'm going to use body weight for the first round. Here we go. Down to that squat. Up a few inches, right back down, and then drive right back up to those heels, okay? Set ourselves up nice and strong, wherever our comfort level may be. At that bottom of the squat, that's where we want to stop. All right, right back up a few inches. Find that tempo. Keeping our chest up, nice and proud. Really controlling that squat as we lower down and then raise right back up, all right? Really think about engaging your quads, pushing those hips back. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. That's gonna be movement number one. Now we know it. T push-ups coming up in 15 seconds. Catch our breath here. How are we doing, team? How are we doing? Good. Good, good, good. Seven seconds here. We're up into those T push-ups. Coming up in five. High plank position here. Hands stacked underneath shoulders. We're down into our push-up. Nice, strong push-up from here. 
Left hand goes up into that rotation. All right, try to keep our hips square to the floor. Our toes are placed on the floor at all times. All right, try to keep those toes on the floor, those hips square to the floor, rotating with our torso. We need to drop down, let's scale, right? Scale into that push-up off of our knees, really leading with our chest, keeping those hips up, last 10 seconds. Good, out in five, last three, two, last rep. Good, 20 seconds here, catch our breath. Ooh, good job team, good job. Stand up nice and proud because we have reverse lunges coming up in 10 seconds, 10 seconds team. All right, top of our workout space team, five seconds here, reverse lunges, all right? Reverse lunges, let's start off with the nice quick tempo here, all right? A little bit of a faster tempo. My arms, I like to go opposite knee to opposite hand, just like we would run. Same motion here, keeping that chest up nice and proud, nice strong movement. All right. Some people like to put their hands on their hips. If that's comfortable for you, let's do it, team. All right. Out in 12. Last 10. Keep that chest up, keep that head up. Out in five, that rear knee hovers right above the floor. Out in three, two, one, time, time, time. Catch our breath here, all right? Catch our breath. We have one more movement and then we jump into that 60 seconds of rest, okay? Mountain climbers and core twists. All right, here we go team, we're up top in that high plank position, five mountain climbers, five core twists. Each leg is one. Three, four, five. Turning quick over, quickly over into those core twists. All right, now we're right back over into those high plank mountain climbers. <laughs> if you lose count, that's okay. Good, 15 seconds here. Nice quick transitions to get over from that mountain climber into the core twist, okay? Feet can be raised off the floor. Heels can be placed on the floor. Recline back into that 45. Last three seconds. Two, one, and time. Okay, team, here's your 60 seconds of rest, all right? A little note about the mountain climbers and core twists. So that quick transition is geared to keep our heart rate elevated as if those mountain climbers didn't do it enough. All right, that nice quick transition into that core twist really forces us use a little bit more effort to get over into that position, okay? With those mountain climbers, as always, keeping our core nice and tight, right? Just as if we were running, those knees come nice and strong towards our chest, keeping our back flat and our hips square to the floor, all right? With that core twist, we're reclining back just a little bit, right? Really focusing on that isometric hold while we twist from left to right hip, left hip, right hip, engaging our obliques on the side. 10 seconds here, and then we will go into that squat pulse. All right, team. Here we go. Three seconds here, two, one. Let's pick up the tempo just a little bit. Okay, team. Now we know the movements. It's time to scale up each round just a little bit more. We're raising the tempo just a little bit. You don't have to follow my lead. Wherever you are comfortable at, just keep moving. Think about that nice, strong form, okay? If you think you're getting a little too loose on your form, slow that tempo down just a little bit, right? Really dive into that nice, strong form. Three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job, good job, team. T push-ups coming up, 15 seconds. All right, push up, remember, your eyes follows your fingertips all the way up to that midpoint of your body line. Five seconds here. <clears throat> Three, hands stacked underneath our shoulders. Two, one, high plank here. Nice, strong push up. Stand up, core nice and tight as we go into that rotation, all right? Really thinking about stabilization. Nice, strong core with that rotation. That's what's going on here, forcing us to stabilize, forcing our bodies to balance, 
using some small muscle fibers here as we go into that rotation, keeping our hips down and square. 10 seconds here. Remember to go off your knees if we need to. With that push up, lead with our chest. All right, three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Way to finish that one out. Reverse lunges are up next. Think about a quicker tempo once again. Here we go. Five seconds here, top of our workout space. Make sure there's nothing behind us here. All right, reverse lunges, nice and strong. Good, think about our breathing as well. Nice deep breath in, exhaling as we drive back up to standing position. Good, 20 seconds here, 20 seconds and we're done with this movement. Keep it up team, keep it up BFIT Nation. Good, last 10 seconds, stay with me. Out in five. Keep that head up, three, two, last rep, and time, way to finish that out. <laughs> right, mountain climbers into core twists. All right, team, remember, it's all about that quick transition, all right? Quick transition, five seconds here, mountain climbers into core twists. Up in two, one, here we go, team. <laughs> Stay with us, round two. We got five and we have a nice five here. All right, nice quick transition. Way to turn over nice and quick. Good, way to keep those hips down as well. Back is flat. Nice quick transition. Good job team. Out in 12. Heels can be placed on the floor as well. We climb back. Just a little bit, add in four, three, finish it out, one, <laughs> and time. All right. I'm clapping for us. Good work, team, good work. Two rounds down, we are at that midway point. Grab that water, grab that towel, wipe it off. We set, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Stay hydrated here. Mm -hmm. All right, team, where are we joining us from? Where are we watching from? Save this BFIT live workout, save it for later. Okay, if we don't have time right now, save it for later, hit it whenever you have the time. All right, hit this workout whenever you have the time. All right, all right, looking good team, looking good. 10 seconds here and we're back into round three. All right, pulse squats. Fun little tip here, if we wanna scale up, goblet squat here. Hold that dumbbell from the head. Two, one, 40 seconds of work here. Down into your squat, elbows tucked in, close to that weight, driving right back up, all right? Same as the first two rounds. Just adding a little bit of extra weight to it. Control that weight going down. Control your pulse. Control your breathing. Out in 15, good, feel our glutes working, hamstrings, quads, good. Out in five, slow five, last three, two, last rep and time. Good job, good job team. Way to finish that one up. Scale this round up if you can, if you have the ability, if you have the weight, grab that dumbbell. We'll do the same with the next movement on movement number three, but two pushups coming up in five seconds. Good. All right, here we go. Two, one, here we go. Nice strong push up once again. Now, when you go down into your push up, think about where your arms, your elbows are falling, all right? At that lower part of your push up position, all right? If you're looking at from an aerial view, think about your arms and your body in more of an arrow position, right? Elbows are tucked in just a little bit close to our torso versus a T, right? 12 seconds here. We want those elbows to tuck in a little closer to our torso versus a T shape from an aerial view. Last three seconds here. Two, one, time. 
Good job. Good job. How are we doing, team? Back with me here. <laughs> We're going to find out real quick. All right, reverse lunges into a front. Reverse lunges here coming up in two, one. All right, I'm grabbing my dumbbell, 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Setting myself up. I am in that front rack position with my dumbbells right here, driving up through my heels. <sighs> nice and strong. Control that weight, control that movement. Going into your reverse lunge, right? We added some resistance here. So let's control the weight, right? 15 seconds. Elbows are right underneath our hands, right underneath our wrists. Good, nice, proud chest. Keep that chest up. Last five seconds. Last two reps, last rep, and time. Good job. Good job, 18 seconds here. That front rack position, really isolating our bicep as well. It's engaged at all times. 10 seconds here, we have those mountain climbers into a core twist. Five, I'm on deck. Here we go, three, two, we are up. We are working, 40 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Nice quick transition. Right back over. Keep those hands underneath our shoulders. There we go. Good, last 10. Good, out in five, finish it out. <laughs> ah, and time. Good job. All right, team, we are back here once again. I believe we are back. So let me fix this here. We have just reached our break here. Let's keep working here. We are back in to our first round with 20 seconds left. And we have those squat pulses coming up. Here we go, 15 seconds and we're out. All right, 10 seconds here. Keep working, find that tempo. Round four, round four, last two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, then we go into our T push-ups here. T push-ups here for the last and final round. All right, Veronica joining us from Charleston, South Carolina. Shout out to Charleston. All right, seven seconds here. We're in that T position with a push-up coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Finish out this round. Nice and strong, team. nice and strong. All right. Again, if we need to regress, we can come down off of our knees, just like so, lead with our chest and then into that rotation. All right, 25 seconds here. Nice, strong push up. That gaze follows our fingertips. Good, out in 15. Last 10, keep pushing. Keep those hips square to the floor. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, time. Way to push through. Way to push through. Reverse lunges with that front rack position. If we can front rack our dumbbells, let's go ahead and do that for the last and final round, team. All right, front rack, we're right here. 
keeping those dumbbells off of our shoulders, engaging our bicep at the same time. Two, one, reverse lunges. Here we go. Nice, strong movements here with us. Good. Finding my breath right there as well. 30 seconds here. Good, find that tempo. Good, drive up. Think about our quad activating as we stand back up. Boots are on fire, really helping us to get back up to standing. Out in 12. Good, last nine seconds. Keep those dumbbells up, keep those elbows stacked underneath our wrists. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, put that weight down. Last and final movement for today. All right, team, mountain climbers with core twists, all right? Woo, let's come on deck here. Last five seconds of rest. We're jumping into five mountain climbers, five core twists. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go team, two, three, four, five. Good, quickly transition over. Three, four, five. Good, there you go, stay with it, halfway there. Good, stay with us. Come on nation, out in 12 seconds. Good, keep those hips down, back is flat. Last five seconds, finish out this set of mountain climbers. If you're here, <laughs> and time. Oh yeah, <laughs> good job team. Good job, BFit Nation. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Woo. Yes, walk this one off, all right? Walk this one off. What a way to finish our workout with a cardio-based movement, those mountain climbers, with that quick transition. Good job, team. Good job on us. Well done. Well done. Great, great Tapata style of workout here. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. How are we doing, team? How are we doing? Leave us a note in the comments. Which movement, which exercise was your favorite, huh? Let me know, team. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Again, make sure to like this BFit Live workout. Make sure to share it with your friends. Make sure to share it with your families. Again, accountability is so important when we're trying to reach our goals from an active lifestyle, from a health and wellness lifestyle, from a nutritional standpoint, all right? Help keep each other accountable, help our friends, our spouses, our siblings, anyone that we know needs that additional support. That's what we're here for as a community, BFit Nation. We're here to help support one another and to push each other, push each other along, all right? If we need that support, we are here for you, all right? With our Exchange BFit program, as always, you can find any, um, a lot of different active, you know, active items at our exchange, okay? Um, from footwear to athletic apparel to sporting goods, uh, you name it, uh, look for items at our exchange and um, we can uh, make sure to lead you on the path for whatever your goals may be from walking to running to strength training to yoga, uh, any type of sporting event that we have you cover team as well as our exchange restaurants outside in the mall area, more than 1,700 to be exact restaurants that offer better for you options at your exchange restaurants. All right, head over to our express stores and we have your smart snacking options covered as well. All right, more than 400 items to be exact. Look for that shelf tag with healthier choices uh, labeled right on the item to help you take the guesswork out of selecting a healthier choice when it comes to smart snacking team. All right, how are we doing? How are we feeling? All right. I hope everyone has had a great workout. I know I am, uh, <laughs> I know I am drenched here. So again, stay hydrated. All right. Make sure to stretch and recover just as well as you did with today's workout. Okay. Make sure to recover. Make sure to get your proper amount of sleep and get ready for that next workout team. On behalf of the BFIT program, on behalf of myself, Roy Montes, we are signing out here with our exchange BFIT program. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. And we'll see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time.